I really like the different perspective of this episode. Gamers Episode 4 focuses on Tendo, our main female character, and how she changed after falling in love with our main male character. So, from what we see at the start of the episode, it starts off with showcasing Tendo's normal schedule, what she does daily, and we see the differences of what happens when the main male character enters her life, and it was a very nice contrast between both of them to show kind of what happens to main female characters in anime or manga or any type of literature, because when you think about it, when you have a series that's a rom-com or a series focused on romance or anything like that, Basically, you have it to where the main female character or the main male character, they might change in personality a bit or start acting a little bit different compared to how they were at the beginning of the series. Not just because of character development, but because of love. Their love has changed them and they're just acting a little bit different around the person they love. And in this case, starting off with the episode with Tendo and showing how her life was very normal, she had a perfect schedule, everything was going properly, and I mean, I don't know how she was able to function with five or six hours of sleep, because I do like my sleep, but basically she was, you know, running off of five to six hours of sleep, she had a perfect schedule, waking up at a proper time, doing workouts, eating properly, all of that, and eventually when she finally met the main Mo character, all of that became completely fucked up. She no longer could sleep right. She no longer, you know, was just able to handle her time properly because the way she was constantly thinking about the main male character, it threw her off. But also when it came to gaming as well, thanks to, you know, his interaction with her and how he, you know, complimented her about the gaming club, but also said, you know, their way of playing is very different from his way of playing. It's distracted her a lot and her, like, overall edge in gaming has dwindled quite a bit. She is no longer as focused on gaming as she once was. I mean, she still enjoys gaming, she still loves playing it, she still has fun. However, every time she plays games, she's thinking of the main male character, which in turn is making her not being able to perform properly in these games, especially competitive gaming. When you're playing a competitive game, obviously you can't be distracted by, uh, with other stuff on the side. You need to have full attention on the game. And in this case, with her thinking about the main male character and, you know, her, you know, in love with him, obviously she's not going to play as good as she once was. So, like I said, I like the contrast of this episode. It's a very nice difference compared to the previous episodes because we've been following the ma main male character and I'm glad this episode kind of gave the main female character the spotlight allowed her to get some characterization and see kind of how her life is on a daily basis I, I can appreciate her character much more now however there is one thing I want to talk about before I continue talking about this episode is that what happened in last week's episode like the cliffhanger we had a massive cliffhanger in last week's episode and this episode doesn't even clarify what happened at all. We don't even really know, like, what happened to all the misunderstandings. Like, did they break up or whatever? Did something else happen? I'm very curious. We didn't even see the girl as well that the main male character met and was introduced to in the last episode, which is very, very strange. So when you look at all of these things, I'm just curious, like what happened like oh did something happen did they have a massive argument and like did they break up as friends and stuff i'm just i'm very curious but then on top of that though i mean besides just wondering what happened there you also have to wonder exactly what you know tendo is going to do to change herself because right now she can't even play properly in the gaming club she's going under these changes and it makes you wonder is she going to kind of realize why the main male character acts like he does why he rejects her for instance he doesn't want to actually be a part of the you know gaming club maybe she will realize his actual reasoning and she'll be like holy shit now i'm actually just like him i could see something like that happening However, though, besides that, the episode is very simplistic. It was a simple episode with a very simple concept. It was mainly just letting us know what type of character Tindo is and why she kind of cares about the MC so much. However, we didn't really get the origin point because I highly doubt everything started right off the bat when she asked him to join the gaming club. I, I don't think it started right there because the way she was constantly acting towards him, even before that in episode one, it implied that she already had something on the side. For instance, she loved him already. So I'm kind of curious what happened in the past. That wasn't necessarily clarified. So hopefully that is in the future episodes. But for now though, I have to say that the latest episode, episode four of Gamers, was very enjoyable. I had a lot of fun watching it. And I gotta say, it had a really nice soundtrack this week. 
like I didn't normally notice the soundtrack of this series like it was kind of like meh or like below average to me in the previous episodes but for some reason I really like the like little subtle soundtracks in this episode with the sound effects as well so yeah it was enjoyable but um let me know your thoughts in the comments below how do you all feel about this episode did you enjoy it did you hate it how do you feel about what happened in this episode how do you feel about you know the main female character, Tendo, you know, her reasoning for how her entire lifestyle got thrown out of whack because of, you know, how she fell in love. Please leave your honest opinions in the comments below. Please be safe. Chibi out.